Hey kiddos, welcome to this week's homework where we are looking at solving equations with multiplication and division. First page, you see that algebra tiles are back. We are writing an equation based on the picture with the thought process that we're working with multiplication and division with these. All right, so these first few, these first six are actually just multiplication problems. I did put them on separate pages from some of the division, just because I think that some of the division are a little bit hard. So how many X's do we have? We have three X's. And what does that equal? That equals nine. Our equation would be three X equals nine. Over here, I have two X and that's equal to 10. Down here, I have four X and that's equal to 40. Here I have 5x, and that's equal to 20. I have 2x, and that's equal to 22. And the last one on this page, 3x is equal to 15. Any questions with these sweet faces, please bring them with you to class. All right, Nuggets, here comes some of the division. Now, as a reminder, when we see a problem set up like these two, they could go either way. If we have the total amount above, it's going to be a multiplication problem. If we have a variable, it's going to be a division problem. So I think some of you got those a little flip-flop last time. So just as a reminder, if the number is on top, it's multiplication. If the variable is on top, it's division. So we're going to multiply 4a. And when we multiply those 4a's together, we get 24. I have two five times. So if I take B and I divide it by five, my answer is two. Down here, variable on top, again, division. If I take D and divide it by seven, it's going to equal three. Now I can flip flop these. So up here, I did B divided by five is two. Here I did D divided by seven is three. I can flip flop it though. I can say also that D divided by three equals seven. They would both be correct, okay? Up here, we're starting with the number on top. So multiplication, two C's multiplied together give me 36. Down here, I have six E's multiplied together give me 60. Variable on top, division. F divided by four equals three, or F divided by three equals four. Either of those would be correct representations for this. Any questions on your algebra tiles? Bring them with you to class. Now the good stuff, time to solve. As a reminder, sticky numbers, which is what we call these. Sticky numbers need to be divided. So let's do it. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. When I say both sides, I mean of the equal sign. 2 divided by 2 is 1, which leaves the 1G by itself. 20 divided by 2 is 10. If I put in 10, 2 times 10 is 20. It checks out. Fractions mean divide. Opposite is multiply. I'm going to multiply both sides. 4 times 1 fourth equals one, it leaves the H, the one H by itself. Nine times four is 36. 36 divided by four equals nine, it checks out. Sticky numbers, I divide. K is equal to eight. Fractions mean division, I multiply. J is equal to eight. Sticky numbers, I divide, doesn't matter what side it is on. 14 divided by seven equals M. Best practice to write the variable first. Fractions mean divide, opposite is multiply. So this would be 56 is equal to N, but again, best practice is to write the variable first. Any questions on these, bring them with you to class. All right, sweet faces, we're looking at some word problems and I want you to write the equation. So it says that Terry needs some gallons of paint to split among three rooms in her house. Each room got two gallons. So Terry needs some paint to divide among three rooms. Each room got two gallons. And then we can go in and solve this. 
I can multiply by both sides. P is equal to six gallons. Over here, Lindsay went to the store to get six packs of gum. She now has 30 pieces. So six packs times however many pieces of gum are in each gives me 30. Sticky numbers I divide. Each gum pack has five pieces. Nelson has some candy he wants to share with four friends. Each friend will receive five pieces of candy. So Nelson's going to divide his candy with four friends. Each person gets five. Let's see how much candy he started with. Candy, well, he had 20 pieces. Over here, Diana bought some bags of apples to make apple pies for an event. Each bag has six apples. She now has 48 apples. So she has six bags of apples. When she opened them, she had 48 apples. But I want to know how many apples were in each bag. Sticky numbers, I divide. Each bag had eight apples. Hunter has some pencils. He wants to divide evenly among his six friends. Each friend got four pencils. So he takes his pencils. He divides them amongst his six friends. Everybody gets four. But how many did he start with? Pencils? Well, he had 24. Last one. Julie and three friends each ate some pizza slices. Together, they ate 16. So Julie and three friends, that's four people. They ate some pizza. When they were done, 16 pieces were gone. Sticky numbers, I divide. They each ate four slices. Any questions on this, Nuggets? Bring them with you to class. Last page again, write the equation and solve. Kennedy's local high school has nine daily buses to pick up students. If they bring 270 students all together, how many students are on each bus? So those nine buses, well, they pick up some students and all together, they have to transfer 270. But how many students are on each bus? Sticky numbers I divide. Every bus has 30 students. Lewis is going to the water park on Saturday for his birthday. He packed 200 popsicles. If he wants each person to have five popsicles, how many people can there be at his party? So five popsicles to every person. He has 200 to share. Divide by five. Each person gets 40 popsicles. They better be small. Ashlyn has a yearly cell phone bill. If each month it is $50, how much is the total bill? So it is yearly. How many months are in a year? There's 12. So her cell phone bill divided by 12 months equals $50. I want to know what her total bill is. So I'm going to multiply both by 12. Ashlyn's yearly cell phone bill is $600. Gibson has four boxes, and he has counted that there are 32 chocolate bars. How many chocolate bars are in each box? So those four boxes have candy. All together, 32 bars. Each box has eight bars of chocolate. Tyree has some fencing. How much fencing does he have if he used 55 fence posts eight feet apart? So he used some fencing. Once he put it up, he used 55 posts and they were eight feet apart. I want to know how much fencing he has all together. I'm going to multiply both sides by 55. He ends up with 440 feet of fencing. Last one, Ryan needs 84 grams of sugar to bake a dozen, a dozen cookies. How much sugar is used in each cookie? Well, how many cookies are in a dozen? There's 12. So 12 cookies need 84 grams of sugar. That means that each cookie gets seven grams of sugar. Any questions on these sweet faces, please bring them with you to class.